Dave Higgins was, he was in the, uh, in the team when I first came to the club. So when he'd been there for a, for a couple of years and him and, him and uh, Steve Vickers used to be the terrible twins. They used to do stupid things like they'd, on the coach, they'd, they'd ask you to look out the window and he'd smash your head against the window. And you'd be stunned and the whole window would be, would be shaking, doing, oing, 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 oing. But he always used to, his party trick, which wasn't funny after a bit, was um, when we'd be, be in a hotel and he'd have puddings then. And he'd have cream on it. And he always used to say to one of the waitresses or the waiters, um, his cream's off there, smell this. And of course, he'd come up and smell it. And he'd, he'd smashed him in, in, the, in the face with it. Um, and he'd do it every single, every single week. And in the end, it just, uh, it just didn't get funny anymore. But he didn't think so. And also on the, on the way back, he was, the, he was a chicken bone sucker. He used to be able to, to strip. Kenny Jones used to come and say, when we were on the way to the game, uh, fish or chicken, fish or chicken, he'd always get chicken. And he, he, he'd suck every single bone, Iggy. He'd suck it completely clean and then go round the bus and get everybody else's bones off him and suck them completely clean as well. And, uh, but he never put a, he never ever put an ounce on him. And, you know, I know he looks old now, but he's, uh, he still hasn't put any weight on. He's, he's looking good. Oh, act the bung. <laughs> Um, John, he, he's just a one-off John. Um, you know, he, he used to want to play with the worst of injuries. Um, I remember once, you know, trying to get him off the pitch and I got him halfway off and he, uh, and I, I let go of him and carried on walking. And next thing the referee said to me, what's he doing there? And I looked around and he'd walked back. He'd worked, and there was a gale that day and the reason he was coming off, it was at Swindon. He was taking goal kicks and they were going outside the area and then coming back in. That's how bad the wind was. And he did his thigh because he was trying to sort of kick through it. And he went back into his goals. But in the end, I had to get him and actually drag him off. And that happened, a, that happened a few times with when he did, I think it was Exeter, he did this or it might have been Yeovil, he did his uh, knee badly. Um, and I went on to him and he said, no, I'm all right, I'm OK. So I stayed behind a goal and as he went to take a goal kick, he just, he just collapsed on his knee. And he, he was saying, no, I'm all right. And he was getting up and it was collapsing on him and collapsing on him. And he just, he just wouldn't have it. And that's, that's why now when you watch him warming the goalkeepers up at, uh, at Liverpool, he looks like Hopalong Cassidy. <laughs> and he needs knee replacements now. And that's, he, just, he just would nev never ever take no for an answer. <laughs> Parky, Braveheart, Parky, uh, one, he was a fitness freak. Um, he, could, he could do both the long stuff and the sharp stuff, which is unusual. Usually players can do one or the other, but he did his ankle once. And I took him to see a fellow called Nick Geary. And Nick had x-rayed it and we'd scanned it. Um, so he got a piece of paper and he starts to draw in the ankle and he's saying, so what we'll do, I'll open your ankle up here. He said, and then we take this tendon that comes around the ankle bone and I take half of that, I drill the ankle bone and drill the heel bone and I thread that through to replace the, the, uh, tendon, the ligament that you've, uh, that you've damaged. And next thing I hear, thud and I've looked and he's fainted. His face is on the table and he's just, and he, he's out. Was, uh, he was absolutely terrified of anything like that. But uh, good job he didn't damage the uh, table with his nose. <laughs> Robbo was just, uh, Robbo was just Robbo. He used to, he was one of these players who could just turn up and play. He, uh, you know, everybody knows, you know, what he was, what he was like. And I remember New Year's Day once he's come and he's, uh, he's come in 
and he's had his face smashed in. So he's obviously he's trying to tell us he hadn't been out the night before, but he obviously had. But all his his face was uh, was caved in, so he'd obviously been in a fight. But to be fair to him, he just he just used to he just used to carry on, you know. He just uh, and then as you all know, we got him got him the second time through uh, through Les Aid and and the fans, um, and I think we played at. Uh, a bright new who were who were top of the league and we we're, we're doing well. We're going to be promoters towards the end of the season, um, and we're doing well. And then of course he loses his rag and gets sent off, and we end up getting turned over three, I think. But uh, but he was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant for us, not just on the pitch. Um, Robbo brought something to us in the dressing room as well and in training that he was fantastic. Goody, he was having some trouble with his, with his stomach and that, so it takes him to see a, a surgeon and again he has a scan and we, we go for the results. And uh, the surgeon said, I, I, I can't understand, he said, uh, you've got scar, you had operations before, you've got all scar tissue in your stomach and uh, there's nothing else wrong there, that's what must be causing the problem. He said, like, what, what's all the scar tissue? And he said, well, and he rolled this thing and he said, well, this one here is a, that, that was a gunshot wound. He said, and I've got two stab, stab wounds as well. Um, and he used to have, he had, he had all scars all over his stomach, goody from, from gangland fighting and that. Um, so he didn't mess with goody. <laughs> but he was, and I try to keep it, he, the last time he was over, I tried to, over, to meet up with him, but, He's still, he is, a, he is an, and I agree with you, he's an old time great.